What's up, YouTube? Jeff back again today. Another very exciting Samsung video for you guys today. Samsung has started to update a ton of their Good Lock apps to bring them to One UI 6.0, which means we're probably getting a One UI 6.0 stable release. Heck, it might even be out by the time I post this video because I'm recording this on Monday. I'm not quite sure when this one will get released, but one of the brand new apps that's coming to Good Lock 2024 that I told you guys about earlier this month is Edge Lighting Plus. It was initially available on the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and now it's on the S23 Ultra. So I wanna show you guys where you can get it, talk about the features again. There's also been some improvements in this update. Before we do that, I wanna thank my son, Jonathan. We've got a couple animals hanging out. As usual, we got a giraffe. He's a little tall, so you can't see him fully. And then we've also got the rhino. We always appreciate my son for giving some animals to hang out in the video. And I wanna remind you guys about my partners at Mint Mobile. If you guys are looking to upgrade your wireless service experience right now for a limited time only, Mint Mobile has unlimited premium wireless just $15 a month. Now I've talked about their various plans on the channel many times. They actually have a bunch of different plans for any data needs that you might have. A five gig plan, 15 gig plan, 20 gig plan, and the aforementioned unlimited plan. But right now they are all just $15 a month for this limited time offer. So you would wanna take of course advantage of the unlimited plan. Now all their plans come with limited talk and text, nationwide coverage, mobile hotspot included as well. You also get that three-in-one SIM card, so you can get either physical SIM or you can also get an eSIM if you have an eSIM eligible device. Um, very, very simple to switch to Mint. Everything's done online. They save a lot of costs, overheads of having physical stores. They pass all those savings on to you. I've been using Mint now in the Phoenix, Arizona area for a little over a year. My family switched to them as well. We love the service. If you guys want to take advantage and try Mint, now is the perfect time to do it. Limited time, trymintmobile.com slash Springer. Links in the pinned comment description to get this best deal that they've had in quite a while. $15 a month for unlimited plan. That's 50% off the usual price. TryMintMobile.com slash Springer. Give them a try and let me know how much you guys enjoy Mint once you do. We do appreciate them for being partners with the channel. So let's talk about the new Edge Lighting Plus application in GoodLock. We saw earlier this month, I mentioned Samsung announced all the changes that were coming to GoodLock 2024. And one of those was the addition and expansion of the Edge Lighting Plus module, which adds your own personal touch to your notifications. Let me go to the Galaxy Store really quickly, show you guys the update that I received. October 13th, 2023, I think I actually got this uh, Saturday, which is the 14th on my phone. 9.45 megabytes, 6.0.00.3 right here. What's new? Support for One UI 6.0. And yes, it is working on the beta because of course I'm running one UI 6.0 beta number seven on my S23 Ultra unlocked right here. Added keyword specific notification function for notification contents. I'll show you guys how this works in a second. This was a feature that was in the initial version, which I had been using on my Z Fold 5, as I said, for a little while, but it was broken on the Z Fold 5 and the Z Flip 5. Now in this new version, it's working. Added Japanese language support. So that's great if you do speak Japanese. And as usual with all updates, we get some bug fixes and stability improvement. So of course you can grab this from GoodLock and uh, once you do, you can go into GoodLock in the modules and then go ahead and tap it to open it up. And that is what the Edge Lighting Plus like icon effect looks like inside GoodLock right there. So once you go in here, you can go ahead and turn this on. Three Dots menu doesn't have anything too interesting. It just has the app information there. These are the people who created the app as we always have kind of with GoodLock. And then in here, you can do some really cool things. So under set custom style, what this lets you do is every time you get a notification, it's going to show you this effect right here, depending on the icons that you choose. And you can see there's a lot of default choices here, like stars, hearts, clouds, popcorn, which is one of my favorite, actually pops up from the bottom, uh, and then a different like star looking effect. Now you can also add effects. There's a whole bunch of other preloaded ones, and you can even choose one from your gallery. So if you wanna use your own custom image, one thing that I'd consider doing, although I don't know that it would really be that useful in terms of identifying notifications is using my logo from my website, but you can do that if you want. So those are the preloaded effects that you have in there, some pretty cool ones. Now, once you choose an effect, like let's say you have the popcorn, you can then change the color right here. You can either have it on auto, or you can go in here and you can change this color to the notification up there at the top. You see the notification is all that changes initially from blue, tan, but now down here, there's a button called color inner work. So if I change this to red, and then I do color inner work, I'll actually get red popcorn. I get orange popcorn, blue popcorn. This is really, really cool, really cool feature. And then over here on the advanced tab, you can change the size. So you can make the popcorn larger, 
Um, you can change the period of how kind of long or short it restarts as it goes through. You can have few popcorn. You can have mini popcorn as they come out like that. That one doesn't look very good when they're large and also have mini, at least not in my opinion. So you kind of want to balance your size with the number. And then you can also have rotation. So they can rotate either fast or short as they pop up, etc. So if you do that, then every time you get a notification, it's going to do that. It looks pretty cool. However, there's another thing you can do as well. So if it's set done there, that's fine. But the other thing you can do is if you go down here, you can also show the app icon instead of the custom style image. So what this does is instead of showing the style image that you set up here, if you turn this on, it will overwrite that and actually use the particular icon. So if I have a notification from Gmail, it's gonna show the Gmail icon. If I have a notification from Twitter, it's gonna show the Twitter or X, again, I refuse to call it that, icon. Whatever it is, it's gonna pop up. I like this one because it actually lets me recognize my icons. You can also choose to only show this when the screen's turned off. That's honestly probably a good idea, but I've been leaving this option toggled off just for testing, but it is kind of annoying to get these to pop up while you're in the middle of working on your phone. Double tap to open the pop-up notifications and prevent swipe down from running by swipe down action. Those are also things you can do because sometimes with the notifications, you might want to have the prevent swipe down activated just to not interfere with those edge lighting style notifications. Now the other feature, which is new, is the style by keyword. So you can show your notifications with custom styles when the titles or content, contents contain the keyword. This was not working before, but now it actually is. So you can search by either keyword or by content. So if you, for instance, wanted to maybe have only notifications when someone messages you about a specific project you're working on, you could put the name of that project right there and then you would get notifications. If you only wanted to get notifications, I guess, from a specific app or maybe a specific person, you could put that in here. Now I've got to play around with this. I don't think it's a way that I would particularly use this app, but I think it could be very useful for people in certain situations. The only thing though, is that I don't think you can trigger this. Actually, let's, let's just try it. Let's try cat. Oh no, you can. You can change it on a per, now they actually, I don't think this was available. Maybe I just didn't see it last time. You can change it for each notification. So if it has cat in the title, now it's gonna show the stars. So you can actually have one for each. So actually with that, I don't think I saw this last time. That might actually be useful and interesting for me to use. Since I just got the update, I have to test this out, but I'll definitely post more about my experience over on Twitter with this. Anyway, this is an awesome app. I've been loving it on the fold. Having it pop up with the app icon is probably the way I enjoy using it the most because it's really easy for me to see what I got a notification from when my phone is off. It's even more obvious than just using the regular always on display. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification icon, future videos like this. Again, if you want to upgrade your wireless experience, give my friends and partners at Mint Mobile a try. Right now, $15 a month for the premium unlimited wireless. This is limited time only. Try mintmobile.com slash springer to sign up. It's also in the pinned comment description. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.